going to start off by finding the temporal pulse. To find the temporal pulse, you'll be finding the temple of the patient's head and using your two fingers or one finger, just never the thumb, you're going to feel for the temporal pulse. It should be a little lateral to the edge of the eyebrow and slightly superior to that. And I do find the temporal pulse. To find the carotid pulse, I'm going to ask the patient to look away from the side that I'm going to be testing. So for, in this case, the patient to look to their left, and I'll test for the right carotid. What I'll be looking is I'll be placing my fingers um, next to the sternocleidomastoid and feeling for the pulse. Since the carotid pulse is so close to the heart, the carotid pulse is typically going to be one of your stronger pulses that you'll find. Never occlude both carotid pulses, because if you felt for both carotid pulses at the same time, it could cut off blood flow to the brain. To find the brachial artery, I'm going to start proximal, feeling between the biceps and the triceps muscle. I'm going to push against the humerus. The pulse is going to be most easily found proximally. And as I move distally, the pulse will be slightly harder to find. Yet, I'm going to be looking between the biceps muscle and the triceps muscle while pushing on the humerus. The radial pulse is going to be on the side of the thumb. So which is going to be this side? To find the radial pulse, it's going to be your most common pulse. I'm going to place two fingers just lateral to the midline of the thumb. Underneath my fingers, I can feel the radial pulse right about there. The ulnar pulse will be found on the opposite side as the radial pulse. So thumb side is this side. I'm going to be feeling on the ulnar side at about the same location, just slightly lateral to midline. The abdom abdominal aorta, I'll be using the stethoscope. I'm going to find the umbilicus. I'm going to go s just midline to that, slightly superior. And I'll be listening for the abdominal aorta. The dorsalis pedis pulse is most easily found on the dorsum of the foot. To that, I'm going to find the midline, feeling more proximal to the, uh, to the foot. I'm going to be feeling for his pulse. The tibialis posterior pulse is going to be found on the medial malleolus side. I'm going to be going posterior to the medial malleolus, and indeed I do find the tibialis posterior pulse.